it's funny how woodworking projects can kind of evolve and take on a life of their own. In 1900, my great-grandfather, John Henry Watts, was born in Kansas. And in 1917, he enlisted in the U.S. Army and went over and fought in World War I. When he got back, he and my great-grandmother got married and proceeded to have eight children. In 1955, my great-grandfather passed away from complications due to diabetes. Since he was in the military, he was buried with full military honors and the flag was presented to his widow, my great-grandmother. Shortly after the funeral though, the flag that was presented to her went missing. And for 45 years, we didn't know where that flag was. When my great uncle passed away, we went and cleaned out his house and in the back of his closet was this flag. So we got it out, we looked at it, and we started talking. What are we going to do with this flag? And we thought about, you know, maybe donating it somewhere or, or uh, giving it to the VFW or, or something like that. But, you know, the more we got thinking about it, the more I really wanted to display this flag in its full state. Um, I didn't really want to build it, uh, one of those triangle displays. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I, I just felt it's a very old historic flag. It's only got 48 stars. He, was, he died in 1955, so there's only 48 states at that time. So it's a very cool old flag. And so I decided that instead of, instead of donating it, I wanted to put it on display for everyone to see. I thought it'd be a great, a great way to honor my great-grandfather and a great way to honor this country that he fought for. Um, and so I proceeded to build a frame for it. I started building the frame, quite frankly, I was just building the frame to put the flag on. But the more I kept building it and the more I started researching my great grandfather, the, the build became a lot more personal. You know, the guy died 30 years before I was born. So it's really tough to have a connection with the person when, when they passed away long before you were around. But the beautiful thing of this project was I, I feel more connected to him now. By being able to build this frame and put his flag onto it, I now have that connection with my great-grandfather that I never had before and that I probably never would have had if I didn't build this frame. Once I had the frame built, 
I brought it up to my office where I was going to display the flag and I started to carefully uh, staple the flag to the frame itself. This was one of the most memorable woodworking projects that I will probably ever work on. Not for its complexity, it's a 1x10 ripped a couple times with a couple pocket screws. It's not a complex project, it's easy. But it's one of the most emotional projects and one of the most personal projects that I'll ever work on. And sometimes the woodworking projects don't have to be intricate and they don't have to amaze everybody. Sometimes it's just the story behind why we build. Why do we build? Why do we build stuff? Is it just to get the oohs and ahs from people? Sometimes. But let's not forget that there's always a story behind every woodworking project. And I'm glad I built just a simple frame for a flag. Because that simple project connected me and my great-grandfather the way that we had never connected before.